Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. If you are working in an organization that has its own logo as a brand, it is likely that the administration of that organization would ask you to do something so that all the computers that the organization has must display the logo and the name of the company on the desktop background. The administration might also ask you to apply such security restrictions so that the end users cannot change the wallpaper and replace the existing one with the one of their own choice. So there are two ways to do this task in Windows Server. First one is using group policy added to templates, desktop wallpaper settings and the next one is by using Windows registry within group policy preferences registry key wallpaper configuration. In this video, we will see the easiest way to configure desktop wallpaper using group policy. In order to accomplish this, you can use the Windows Server 2016 group policy object and configure the group policy object to enforce the image of your choice as the desktop wallpaper on the computers in the entire domain or in a particular OU. So to deploy a common desktop wallpaper via group policy is very easy. There are two main things you need to do. First, create a share folder and store image under it. And second, create and link group policy object and define the settings. Before we apply this policy with the group policy management, we must share the folder of wallpaper which we want to set as a desktop background. So we are logging as a domain administrator on this Windows Server 2016 domain controller. Our first step is to create a share folder and store wallpaper image under it. Let's uh, copy this image and let's uh, on a D drive create one folder. Give a name common wallpaper. Let's paste that image. Okay, now this is the image which we want to set as a desktop background on all computers in our domain mylab.local. Let's share this folder. Right click on that folder. Select properties. Let's click on sharing tape. Click on advanced sharing. Select share this folder. And we want to create this share as a hidden share. That's why I'm going to put dollar sign at the end of share name. Let's click on permission. As you can see, everyone have a read-only permission and that is enough for the share folder. Let's click on OK. Let's click on apply and OK. Now this is the network path of that share folder. Let's copy this path. Right click and select copy. You have to remember the name of that image. It is MSFT webcast and uh, extension is .jpg. Let's click on OK. Now let's close this console and let's open Group Policy Management console. Select mylab.local domain because we want to attach a group policy object at domain level. Right click on it and select create a GPU on this domain and I'll link it here. Specify the name as per your requirement to this GPU. Once you specify name, then click on OK. Now here we have a GPU named Deploy Common Desktop Background. Select it. Right click on it and click on edit. In uh, group policy management editor console, under user configuration, expand policies, expand uh, edit to templates, expand desktops, and then click on desktop. Now here, select desktop wallpaper settings and double click on it. Now as you can see, the by default policy is set as a not configured. Let's select enable. And here you have to specify the path of your wallpaper image. If you are using local path, you can specify this way. And if you are using a UNC path, then you have to specify the UNC path of that folder. Let's paste that part which we copied earlier. And let's specify the name of that image. MSFT webcast.jpg. You can set a wallpaper style as a center, fill, fit, span, or stretch. Let's select as a stretch and then let's click on apply and OK button. Now, desktop wallpaper policy is currently enabled and we define the path of that wallpaper image. Now, let's close this group policy management editor console and let's go back to our client computer. 
Let's log in as a test user one on this client computer. And as you can see, user have a different desktop wallpaper. Now let's manually update the group policy using command gp update slash force. Let's open command prompt. And at the command prompt, I'm going to type command gp update slash force and then hit enter key. As you can see, computer base and user base policy update has completed successfully. The users may have to log off and log in once to see the changed desktop wallpaper. So let's close this command prompt and let's once sign out as a test user 1. Let's again log in as a test user 1 on this computer. Let's specify the password and hit enter. And here we go. Now user have custom wallpaper as their desktop background which we specify using group policy. Let's run command rsop.msc. Click on close. Right click on user configuration and select properties. Here you can see this is the group policy objects which are currently applying on our test user 1. And this is the group policy object which we use to set common desktop background on all client computers. Let's click on OK. And this is the settings which is currently applying on this user account. Let's close this console and uh, let's go back to our domain controller. Let's close this console as well. Let's open command prompt and at the command prompt, let's type a command gp update slash force and then hit enter. Okay, let's close this command prompt and let's sign out as an administrator. Let's again log in as a domain admin, specify the password and hit enter. And also administrator has common desktop background which we set using group policy. And that's the end of this video tutorial on how to deploy common desktop background wallpaper using group policy in Windows Server 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.